one. So we're back in Zojo and we're going to do something with the canvas today. And the reason I want to do this is um, I know a lot of other people that uh, use some other cross-platform tools that I use and are kind of curious about Zojo but really don't understand some things about it, especially the canvas. Really what the canvas is, is it's an object to draw things on screen. That's really what it is. So we can bring a uh, canvas here on screen and we're just going to go and we're going to stretch it to the width of the window and we'll lock or pin it to the window as it resizes. So I'm going to name this CV main. So I use CV for canvas. You can call it whatever you like, but that's what I call it. And really what there is here is if we look at the event handlers for a canvas, uh, you have a multiple type of events you can do. You have paint, which is how you paint things, open events, and then you have a number of actions that can be caught uh, in this from mouse events to keyboard events to a number of different things. So first we're going to start with uh, a paint event. So we're going to paint all our graphics into uh, the paint event. And for this simple one, let's try to also get a mouse move event. So every time the mouse moves within the canvas, it can do something. And so let's, um, just for some basic feedback, let's get a field object and let's just put that on screen. Okay, so let me drag this on screen here and let's rename it. I'll name it Field Feedback, and let's just take the name of that. So we can go into this mouse move event, and we can say basically Field Feedback dot text equals, and as you can see up here in this mouse move, it returns an X and a Y as an integer. So if we want to just display this in this field as we move the mouse around, let's say we want to say X. So if we put this in quotes, this will be in quotes. And we want to make a string. So we'd say string X. And let's do another plus here for like a little comma plus and let's do another text string here y with a marker like this and then another plus and then again string for y and the ring, reason we have to put in a string here is because these are returned as an integer but now as we move the mouse around on screen you'll see that we'll get feedback of the x y coordinates of our mouse cursor location in the canvas so you can see how simple this actually works Okay, so we're on screen, and you can see as we move around the mouse pointer on screen, we get the XY coordinates. And if we resize the screen, it changes. So you can see that immediately we could take these coordinates and use them to our advantage to draw something in screen. So here's an idea. Let's, while we move the cursor around, let's maybe draw a picture, and we can move the picture onto the canvas. So let's stop that. And let's go back into here. I'll keep this on screen, but let me bring up the inspector. Let's turn off this focus ring. Okay, so we need a picture and I have some icons here from one of the icon artists that I purchase icons from. And I'm just gonna bring in this cloud picture right here. And that's what it looks like. Pretty nice, huh? Okay, so we're gonna draw this into the canvas area. And really all to do that, we just have to call this name for this cloud. Uh, one thing I do like to normally do is add a folder and I like to call it like artwork and I just stick all the artwork into this folder and then hit save. And there we go, we have it in there. So we're pretty much ready to go. Now, as you can see that we have our X, Y coordinates in the mouse move. Um, one thing we could do 
or one thing that I normally do is I will set up properties for these things. So we're going to have a cloud X and let's start with a default of zero. And let's make another property. Of, so we do cloud Y integer and let's start again with zero. And let's go back into this mouse move event and we can come down here and just go cloud x equals x. And we can set this properties cloud y equals y. And so now we can really just take these properties that we have here and get the values that we need to paint. So we'll go into the paint event of the canvas now so we can draw our picture to screen and we'll draw it to um, to those coordinates. So basically to do that we just use G draw picture. There it is draw picture and there's a number of things you can do with draw picture uh, but the basic thing that you can do is you call what picture you want to draw and in our case that was cloud so we can type that in C-L-O-U-D and then we just need to pass in the X, Y value. So all we have to do is then say, take our properties that we already made, cloud X and cloud Y, and it will draw a picture when we move the mouse. Now there's one thing that we do have to set up though, is when the object it won't actually look like it's moving. So what we have to do is we have to basically like sort of refresh the screen, but instead of refresh the screen, we're gonna use, uh, oh, it's gonna basically tell it that the drawing is dirty. And I'm gonna set it to erase the background. So just by doing this and nothing else, it should move now around screen. And as you can see, it does move around screen. Now you might notice that my mouse cursor is not in the middle of the cloud while it moves around screen. That's because when you draw a picture, it actually draws it from the zero, zero coordinates of the left and top position. So actually, if you wanted to get this in the middle of the screen, you would have to know the size of your picture. So I know this picture here, I'm pretty sure is probably about 128 by 128. So because I know it's that, what I can do is I could subtract 64 and I could track 64 from it and it should put it in center. So let's just try that really fast. And as you see, just by subtracting 64 from both the X and Y axis now, when I draw this on screen, and I think it's a little off here, it's in center of the cloud. And as you can see, the it moves around. It does stop when it comes to the edges, especially the negative edges. It does not like uh, actually a negative feedback. So it will stop, it sort of constrains. But that's how simple you can draw a picture to screen. And that right there is to follow a mouse around. There's a lot more things you can do with the canvas. It is probably one of the most coolest things you can uh, actually set up and do things with. Um, this is very, very basic. But as you can see, uh, we just have a very simple draw command here. Usually there's a lot more into it. Um, and we're using just a simple mouse move and really besides the feedback to the field. We're just setting these properties that we set up here in our project. So you can see they're just basic integers. And that's how simple it is to start doing stuff with uh, the canvas. So now you can do so many more things than this, but this is just to show you how simple it is really to get started. And it's really not that hard. It's really just an area to draw things on screen. And by using the different events, handlers that you have here, you can then do things 
uh, based upon other data that comes in. And by capturing them into properties or doing other methods, you can basically do things. So that's pretty how cool that Zojo is. And you can see that we set that up in like less than probably five, 10 minutes. I don't know how much time has passed here, but I wouldn't say very much. So thanks for joining me and uh, I hope you have fun doing more stuff with the canvas and maybe I'll show some more videos uh, in the future on this stuff. Okay, thanks for joining me and have fun.